Today I wanted to talk about the energy of Mercury retrograde. Feel free to let me know if you're watching this on the replay as well and just say hello and good morning. I'm here on Facebook currently and it's 10:22. You can also check out my YouTube channel as well and please make sure that you stay subscribed to that. Like the videos as well. It's super helpful for me. Okay, so uh, for people that don't know, Mercury retrograde started on the 9th of September and it goes until, <laughs> excuse me, the 23rd. And so right away I'm feeling a lot of energy around my uh, throat and I'm now seeing like my candle go up and kind of smoke here. Uh, so what that tells me right away is that during Mercury retrograde, there's a lot of miscommunication. So it's really important that you are communicating very clearly and you're not hesitant when it comes to speaking up about anything that feels important to you. Okay, so it's actually a great time, I feel like, to address things with your partner or address things with your really close relationships, okay? And the reason for this being is because Mercury retrograde is currently in Libra. And so Mercury retrograde falls into a different astrological sign. So every time we go through this, which is four times a year, lasts around 20 days, just approximately. And then we have, like, we feel it as we go into it and we feel it as we're coming out of it as well. But it's, specifically, it's usually around that 20 day mark okay so libra currently what this mercury retrograde is showing us is where we are out of balance where we might be lacking in our life and so i've noticed that in with my clients recently that that's a big thing that's coming up for them okay so uh, when we think about balance often with libra energy we go into relationships so it makes sense why this topic is coming up right away to kind of have that heart to heart with that person because chances are you're with that person for a reason they're close to you for a reason so we want to heal the relationships we want to make it work therefore we need to put in the effort to communicate a little bit harder okay again i want to emphasize on any type of lack that you might be feeling that's something you want to start working through Mercury retrograde is a time of reflection. So that means usually, if you've been noticing in my post, it's telling us to do more self-care, to slow down, to do more internal work. That's been coming up in my weekly readings, etc. So just pay close attention to that as well. When I'm sharing those little pieces, it's very much related to this. So when we have anything going on, like astrological wise with the moon cycles, there's a little bit of everything to, that comes into play, okay? So I wanna pull up some cards and what we need to know about Mercury retrograde. There are a lot of people that hide around this time. And so again, if you feel like you've been isolating, perhaps that's because you need to do some internal work. And so this is a really great time for maybe uh, journaling, um, reading, things to do with that intellect, getting some introspection on where you are. And I can't help but feel like the word rewards is coming up for a lot of people as well. So any word that starts with re, rewind, recenter, reground, rethink, Okay, so um, just pay attention to that as well, because if you're not rewarding yourself, like taking those baths, or um, for me, I'm getting into the creative process with all my, my healing uh, products and things like that. That feels really important because it's something I've already been doing, but I'm coming back into it. I'm not starting something brand new. All right, so this is really a time to just like, get back to um, things that you might have lost touch with. For instance, um, when I was working with someone yesterday, it was getting back in touch with the joy that this person had when they were a child. Because often we do things as a child. For, for instance, as another example, I had a little girl, I'd say like 11 or something, um, outside when it was pouring rain last night and I could tell she was kind of like looking back a little bit like, is this okay? And then I felt like she felt like there was permission for her to just, she just like opened up her arms and she was just soaking up the rain and she was dancing in the rain. 
And I thought that is really related to, to this energy. That's what I'm talking about. And it actually inspired me to go out when it was uh, raining with my significant other and reconnect to that aspect in our lives as he walks in the door. All right. So, oh, could I get a card, please? Well, I am pulling up cards for Mercury Retrograde just to explain what it is that we need to do. And if you're on here, you're on here for a reason, so you will probably relate to this. So the Temperance card here literally means balance. Okay, that's what we were just talking about. So when we see this person putting energy into the cup, that's her own cup, and it's putting energy into yourself first and then others and so that's where it feels like if we're working on lack it might be where we've been giving too much of ourselves we might be feeling depleted and tired especially where we're just coming out of a full moon at this time and we're also still in virgo energy keep that in mind which is very much about like working hard and needing that outdoor activity and needing that connection with animals and um, gentleness and softness and also a little bit of isolation okay so again give yourself permission and freedom to do the things that you feel called to at this time all right i just feel like leaving it there there's so much more to mercury retrograde but uh, you can also go through my YouTube uh, playlists and some of my videos there where you'll see how I've done a Mercury Retrograde video before and how there are similarities but also differences. Alright guys, have an amazing day and thanks so much for tuning in and watching. Bye-bye!